Hey guys, in order to uh, get ChatGPT, Siri, uh, and your shortcuts and uh, all of them working together flawlessly, well, the first thing you're going to need to create is obviously an AI playground. Uh, so as I've said in some of my responses, uh, I use multiple shortcuts because I obviously I don't want to have to retype the same uh, processes over and over and over again. So it's easier to just create, in this example, an AI playground. And that way, when I'm using ChatGPT, like here, uh, not that one, uh, like this one here, it just uh, invokes that AI playground, and all I have to do is program what I need in this one, right? And it keeps it short. And then what I send over to this one is just a dictionary. So this is what it looks like. And if I don't send it anything, then it will act just like the playground does on the website. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, it's very short, simple, but if I do need to edit something, it'll be easier for me to edit it right here, uh, as opposed to having to edit every single shortcut that I end up using uh, the OpenAI uh, API on, right? So I just create one playground, that way I don't have to constantly keep modifying it. So this is how it works if, let's say, I just want to run something. So. Again, this is just their prompt, the way they have it over there. No pre-conditioned uh, prompts or anything like that. So tagline for a cream shop or whatever. So list five programming languages. And this one will not have, uh, and then I get the option for whatever um, um, model I want to use, et cetera, et cetera, just like in the playground. You, uh, it just gives you everything, right? I'm just going to go through these real quick. So having this already set up, basically you can I can just send to it um, the dictionary with all that stuff already preset, which makes it easier. Here you go. But if, if I try to ask it right now, hey, give me uh, some details on that list, it won't do it because I'm not feeding it. Uh, from this playground the previous information which is what I you have to do if you're doing a playground uh, uh, or I mean a chat bot so that's pretty much it for this one guys uh, so I'll go ahead and share this one uh, it'll be on the pin to the comments below uh, obviously what you're going to have to do is uh, replace the bearer token uh, you're, you're gonna have to get your own token so on this section here, get content, you're going to have to come here and replace, add your key here, removing these brackets. So you're going to have to delete from here all the way over here and just remove brackets, including the brackets, and just paste your API token here in order for this playground to work. Uh, and then I'll cover how the chat GPT, the Siri, and everything else works. Uh, but as you can see, it's basically a pretty simple one, but when it doesn't receive a dictionary, it will prompt you for details. Uh, and then models menu. I guess I can uh, cover that one or you can just remove that one and just have the model uh, here up top be uh, Da Vinci or whatever you want. Uh, and that's uh, start the first step that you need in order to uh, get the rest of them working.